So hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. New microphone for me. I'm really happy about this. I'm really happy we're getting close to 50 subscribers, and I want to thank you all very much. I mean, yeah, I know it's a pretty low number, probably it's not that big, but for me it's uh, it's very important. See, people are subscribing, so you're liking what I'm doing, and that's really nice to to see. And I want to thank you all very much for this. And let's get into this uh, preview of Match Week 28 of the Chinese Super League and this is a really really important match week because we might have we might have we will not for sure have we have to see because shanghai port might become uh, champions of china uh, they might win the league with this game they have an eight point advantage on shandong Teshan, and uh, we are three games to go so if they keep this eight point advantage with two games to go they will be crowned champions but it's not going to be easy it's not it's not something automatic it's not happening automatically because they're facing beijing one beijing one uh they are at uh, 45 points three points from uh jaijang that are right now in an asian competition spot qualifying spot and there are six points from shandong taishan for an AFC Champions League elite spot that is a little bit more difficult to get uh, but they don't want to lose this game they want to win this game it's not just about making points they want to win because um, a win against uh, against uh, Shanghai Port it's not just a prestige win it's not just oh yeah we made them uh, wait another week to get the championship but it's really a vital, vital uh, game for Beijing Guan. They want to get points. They want to get in, the, in an Asian competition next year. Asian competition next year is the goal for Zhejiang as well. Uh, they're facing Hakka Football Club. Um, I mean, Hakka FC is not really a get it's not they don't have any kind of uh, goal right now in the league they are there they are safe and yeah they Zhejiang hopes to get points in this away game same thing for Shandong Taishan is basically the same thing they want to keep not just an Asian competition spot but they want to keep that AFC Champions League elite spot and that's really really important uh, one three towns the Asian competition spot is basically gone, uh, six points away from Zhejiang and, Shang and Shanghai Shenhua. Uh, but uh, at least they want to perhaps get the top five spot in this uh, uh, in this Chinese Super League 2023. Uh, but it's not going to be an easy game against Diane Pro. Diane Pro that need points to uh, save themselves. The bottom two get relegated to the GIA League. Uh, the second tier of Chinese uh, competition so uh, here I'm seeing Diane Pro getting an upset even though they're playing at home against two one three towns uh, Henan is playing against uh, Changzhou that's a uh, pretty like I'm not seeing anything special here two teams that are pretty, pretty much done with this year's league Nantong against Shanghai Shenhua that's a really interesting one because uh, they're both tied with a con uh, an, uh, a contender for their goal because Nantong are tied with Diane Pro and they want to get away from the relegation spot and Shanghai Shenhua are tied with Jai Zhang and they want to get in the Asian competition spot so this is going to be a really interesting game especially because Nantong are playing at home uh, then we have Kindao playing against uh, Tianjin Jimen and here I mean uh, two teams that uh, are pretty much yeah I mean they technically still have a chance to get into uh, something uh, but they are safe and they are not getting in Asian competition spot seven points are a little bit too much at uh, this point is a little bit too much and especially because Shanghai Shenhua are tied with uh, uh, Zhejiang so I mean even if uh, Zhejiang loses Shanghai Shenhua are getting points if if uh, Shanghai Shenhua loses Zhejiang gets points so and then Chengdu against Shenzhen Shenzhen we thought we said this a lot uh, unfortunate season for them 
Nottingham um, getting anything more this year. Uh, next year, going to be in the second tier. So we'll see how that goes. And for Chengdu, yes, they still have hopes for Asian an Asian competition spot. We see how Zhejiang and Shanghai Shenhua will do and of course Beijing Guan in, uh, in this match week and then we see but it's a little bit more difficult I'm seeing in the fight for uh, the third spot Zhejiang, Shanghai Shenhua, Beijing Guan uh, Shandong Teishan they, are, they have a three-point advantage they don't think about the league anymore the league is 95 percent uh, already uh, in the hands of Shanghai Port but yeah, I mean, we'll see how, how is it going to, what is going to happen in this match week 28 of the Chinese Super League. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I thank you all for watching. Again, thanks. We're getting closer to 50 subscribers. And if you are not subscribed yet, if you like what I do, please consider subscribing, consider putting a like. And I thank you all for watching. See you soon.